Howard Street is the canvas for vibrant chalk art today in Rogers Park. Gaynor Hall has the story. I like to draw things that are really bright and colorful. I tend to draw a lot of inspiration from my childhood as a 90s kid. Rebecca LaFleur discovered a passion for chalk art during the height of the pandemic. I, I lost the fingers on my right hand in a car accident um, in 2007 and I am right handed. Getting into this chalk art was the first time I really like delved into art after my accident um, and so it was just cool both discovering a new passion but then also realizing I could do something that I didn't really know I could do. LaFleur is one of several 2D and 3D artists featured at this year's Chalk Howard Street. Amateurs could purchase squares to participate too. We do it to bring the community together. We love our businesses on Howard Street. Sandy Price is the executive director of the Rogers Park Business Alliance. She says the festival is a colorful way to showcase the neighborhood. Everything is local, local music, local food, local vendors, and some great artists. Today I'm doing a uh, chalk art of the magic school bus, but I'm putting like a Chicago spin on it. And for LaFleur, dubbed the neighborhood chalk lady on the north side, the art is fun and accessible to create and experience. I just want people to enjoy themselves, uh, enjoy their neighborhood, eat some good food, listen to some music, and just admire what people can do on the streets. In Rogers Park, Gaynor Hall, WGN News. How long the art lasts can depend on the traffic and weather. Chalk Howard Street runs until 8 tonight and will return next summer.